Hey guys, it's Ben, the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I've got just a couple of things to show you kind of up close and personal, some Mexican coins with some pretty wild stories to them. And this is going to be a little bit more of a static video, but I just want to show you this really cool early 1733 pillar. Just epic, epic looking coin. Unbelievable condition. And also what's special about this coin is that the mint mark over here on the left hand side of the coin mx for mexico it's the only time that they had that mint mark on there and then they changed it so it's kind of cool because if we had a mint mark that was uh in the u.s if someone decided to use um, a d for denver and then they said well, let's go with a dv for denver and then they go back just to just the d so pretty wild and crazy, but what I have to show you next is actually something that there's only one of four known, and it's a coin from the future. Maybe maybe it's a coin of your future if you go find one and buy it. So you may not know what this is that you're looking at right now. Uh, for those of you who collect Mexican stuff, you may know that there's something going on with this coin that is a little bit unusual, and is this coin that was not known to exist until the El Cazador shipwreck came out. And you'll notice that it says error date. Well, what's the error on the date? Well, once again, if you're not familiar with these, that would just be a, well, I don't know what, what's going on here. Well, the error with the date is the fact that this coin was made in 1782, but it's dated 1872. So you're talking about something that is, uh, it was post-dated 90 years. So don't write post-dated checks and don't write post-dated coins either. And guess what happened? The uh, There was a record that these were produced, but no one had any evidence that they existed because no one had one. And then on the El Cazador shipwreck, they found some. So they did a really good job when they recalled these of collecting all of them. The government probably made it legal to own and maybe would cut your arms off. I don't know. Okay, that's not true. But... What a neat piece of numismatic history that you have a coin that is dated, uh, was misdated by 90 years and then was recalled and then it took another couple hundred years for them to actually finally surface. What a great numismatic story. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for joining me today for that. I hope you enjoyed. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.